What's something people don't know about Albert Einstein? Ever wondered if Albert Einstein really was the ultimate genius, or did he just swipe the theory of relativity from someone else? Let's dive into it. Back in the early 1900s, Einstein was just a patent clerk in Switzerland. But in 1905, he published a series of papers that would change the world forever. The one that stood out? You guessed it, the special theory of relativity. However, some skeptics argue that Einstein might have borrowed ideas from other scientists. So what's the deal? Did Einstein plagiarize? First, let's talk Henri Poincaré and Hendrik Lorentz. Both these guys were working on similar concepts around the same time. Poincaré even hinted at ideas resembling relativity in his lectures. And Lorentz? He developed transformations essential to Einstein's theory. Coincidence? Maybe not. But here's where it gets interesting. Einstein's genius wasn't just in the math, it was in how he interpreted it. He took these scattered ideas and unified them into a coherent theory. No small feat, right? Plus, Einstein always gave credit where it was due. He acknowledged the contributions of Lorentz and Poincaré. So calling him a plagiarist might be a stretch, more like a collaborator with the giants of his time. And let's not forget the general theory of relativity. That was all Einstein. No borrowed ideas, just pure brilliance, redefining gravity itself. In the end, whether you see Einstein as a genius or a plagiarist might depend on your perspective. But one thing's for sure, his work revolutionized physics. And for that, history will always remember him. So what do you think? Genius or plagiarist? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into history's greatest minds. Catch you next time.